Today I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this Pilates Magic Ring or Magic Circle from Belidi. So basically the Magic Ring in Pilates is used for Pilates mat exercises to add some resistance. Okay, this way and that way. Um, so to use for your typical exercises that you can take to intensify or help you grow stronger to do more advanced activities or help you through stretches. So I'm going to be demonstrating a couple of things that you can do with this magic ring um, for mat Pilates workout. So uh, let me give you a closer look at this. This is kind of like a strong rubbery material here. And then um, definitely with magic rings, you want to make sure that you've got some decent padding to sink into. So if you are putting this and your feet are pressing into this, your knees are pressing into this, your hands, you've got a good grip and it's soft and cushion. Um, some of the old school ones are kind of harder and more rigid there. So this has got a great cushion. Um, it's definitely a good one. So um, for using this, you can use this for your arms to squeeze through. You can also take it that way and push out. You do the same thing with your legs um, for different things. I'm just going to give you an example of how to use this with Pilates mat exercises. So you can use this ring to add extra resistance. Typically with mat Pilates, your resistance is just your body. You can add more resistance either to your arms or your legs. So I'm going to show you a roll up using this Pilates circle. So if you've got this overhead, take your hands and put a little squeeze there, a little resistance so your arms are working. As you peel up and over and roll back down. So my arm muscles here are working much more than they typically would just being reached out long here. Now you can also do this, add some resistance to your legs. So you can put this between your knees, bent knees, and you're going to squeeze in, hold that there, and then you can peel up, lower down. Okay, so this is, can be a great one too for working on stability here, that you are holding stability and also working your legs. So if you wanted to roll back here and do some stretches through the obliques, You can also hold here, one exercise that I like to do is holding onto your legs here, rolling down. So you're really engaging your core here. Release and squeeze. Roll up, release and squeeze. Pulling down, release, squeeze. Lifting up, release, squeeze. Really working through that tummy there, release and squeeze, and using your legs at the same time. Okay, so let's show you some side leg type things that you can do with this. Um, now, with side leg in Pilates, you get a lot of this where you do little leg circles and pulses here, those tiny little controlled movements. You can use this ring to help you with that. So if you rest your ankle here on the inside and then take your ankle on the outside here, coming down, now here you can squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. You can also bring down into a squeeze and do tiny pulses. Squeeze, pulse, three, four, five. Very good. And then you can also take this the other way, taking your foot on the inside of the ring. So you're pushing two, three, four, five. Now keeping it pushing out, little pulses. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, from here, you can take and lift both legs. Lift both legs. Now typically in mat Pilates, when I do this, I would have my legs together squeezing as you're lifting. But the great thing about using this ring here is that you can get a little extra resistance because you're pushing out with both legs while you're doing that. Very nice. Keep really controlled and stable through the hip and you will be working those legs. And then of course you want to flip and do the other side so you're not just working one leg there. 
Okay, so you can really use these in between your knees to do a lot. You could even just squeeze here to strengthen those muscles. You can come down onto the ground and put your ankles through and you can just pulse out, keeping your hips nice and centered here. So you're really working those outside thighs. You can reverse that, bring it in and push in inside thighs. Push, push, push. Lots of resistance, lots of control to do that. Okay, I'll show you a few more. So if you're coming back down onto your side, one that I like that's really fun. is to come down onto the side here and lifting, twist, crunch together. Now, here's a good example. While you're doing this, you have to be pushing those legs out both at the same time. So reach forward, twisting, touch that ring. Touch that ring. Okay, this can also work well for things like the spine stretch that you can Hold here for resistance as you reach out long. And then lifting, stacking the spine, just having something to push in here. Um, you can even take that with your knees here and try to go around it a little bit. But with spine stretch, you wanna be able to stretch through. Um, but anything, basically any activities you can do, you can use with your arms or your legs to add resistance in different places. Okay, so you could even use this to do some less traditional exercises. You can hold here, pulse down, pushing through your arms, working there. Okay, so you can use these to do a lot of different things. You can help um, aid in stretches. Sorry, my camera's not very good for this one. But if you were to hold this behind your back and stretch forward, this can keep you even when you're doing side stretches. Let's come down to the floor. Doing side stretches, rolling yourself in a circle. So just something to keep your arms the right distance apart. You can also use this for back exercises. Okay. Or working that booty. So some of these positions are gonna be awkward to get your ring in there. So you gotta squeeze that tightly now from here. You can just squeeze a pulse here. You can do lifts. Woo! Um, and you can take it straight out and be lifting, squeezing those legs, working your back. You can also do the same things coming forward with your back exercises. Now this is a nice one here where you'd typically just be lifting up. You can have your arms here, forehead to the ground and lift, lift, lift your legs with it. Okay, another one, you can put it between your glutes and your leg, it can kind of be awkward to hold there, and pulse here, making that booty work. So hopefully this has given you some good ideas about how you can use this with traditional mat Pilates exercises and how you can do some unique things with a little bit of extra resistance, okay? So anything that you can do this way, you can push in, you can use that to squeeze out with both your legs and your arms. So rather than doing a, a million tiny leg circles, you have both of your legs extended out pulsing, pulsing. You're just working both legs at once. Take them on the outside. Same thing, squeezing. Okay, I have one more thing I wanted to show. What was it? Mm. Let me think on that. Ah uh, yes, now we remember. Okay, so you can use these for like variations of rolling like a ball. So 
um, if you wanted to take your rolling like a ball to the next level, now there is the rolling like a ball. Okay, whoops, too far. You wanna come stop at the top. Okay, and then there's also open leg rocker where you roll down and come up to the top, right there. Um, this one you can kind of do kind of a variation in between. So making this about this distance, just a minute there, bud. You can bring those legs up, hold arms here, be holding. And it kind of helps there to um, create some stability. So when you come up to the back at the top, you can lift through that. Um, and it's somewhere in between this rolling like a ball where we're holding here and more of an extended one where you're using your legs a little bit more. So this is really cool. Um, I really enjoy using the Pilates Magic Ring. You can do it for um, so many different exercises. Anytime you want to add a little bit of resistance, this one works great. Got nice padded cushions. It's comfortable when it's pressing in between those knees and in between your hands, which is something that you're looking for. So these are pretty cool. You can do a lot of work on different muscle groups in a short amount of time. Now I did that really, really fast. Typically you breathe through and do things a little bit more slowly, but that has been your closer look at this Pilates magic ring, magic circle.